everyone. I wanted to do a quick what's in my bag. This is my first what's in my bag and hope you like it. And there's my little dog Daisy. <laughs> so this is the Fossil Sydney Satchel in the color teal green. I just got it um, during one of their sales a month and a half ago or so and I absolutely love it. Um, I actually have this bag um, in black and brown already so I was really happy to get this color. So <laughs> she has to sniff everything. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, so first off, we have this little charm, which I absolutely love. This is from Anushka. Um, it is like almost an exact color match, which is amazing. I absolutely love this. I actually got four different charms from Anushka recently. And I love butterflies. I've loved them since I was a teenager. And this is just gorgeous. The craftsmanship and the colors are just amazing. Um, I bought this little... Uh, round carabiner clip from Amazon just to clip it on and then over here this is lug and in here I have I think it's a measuring tape and a bottle opener yep the measuring tape and a little bottle opener and I got this from an escape room in somewhere in Washington it was a prize for winning the escape room and thought it was cute and I need this for work a lot of times you never know when you're gonna need it and I seem to always be misplacing them so I'm like I'm just gonna keep it on my bag at all times okay um, in the back pocket I just have my keys right now um, my friend got me this Golden Girls Shady Pines retirement home <laughs> we love the Golden Girls um, sometimes I do put my phone there but um, it can be a tight fit. So on the inside, I don't know if I'm going to go through every single thing with you just because I'm kind of in a rush right now. But um, I have this lug pouch. Um, it's called the Jib in Flamingo Black, I think it's called. I don't think there's as much in here as there normally is. Um, some Altoids. I normally have one or two power bars. This is just like a little napkin cloth napkin and I normally have gum but I've gone through the gum and I've gone through the power bars well, that's what's in there then I have this from lug this is the Metro XL it has room for your ID on the back if you want and this just has a bunch of cards um, that are my less frequently used cards and like insurance cards um, that kind of thing so that's that. Um, oh, a spoon. <laughs> I guess I had some yogurt. That's my spoon. Um, what I am using for a wallet is from Hobo. And I don't remember the name of this. Um, it's like a faux snakeskin print in this green color. And it's got a little bit of the teal. It's got some pink. Um, you know, coins and the, the lining is this beautiful fuchsia. Um, no coins in here right now, just a little bit of cash here in the back and a receipt. And then it holds two, three, four, five, five cards plus an ID. And I love that it, it can slide out with your thumb. Um, so, and I could stack up more if I wanted to. These are like just my most frequently used cards, um, beach pass that kind of thing. So I love having this, plus I can easily change it from one bag to another. And then, I, I don't know, I've never, I can't decide if I'm a small wallet girl, <laughs> minimalist, or if I'm a big clutch wallet girl. I'm just, I'm always going back and forth, but I guess that's part of the fun. Then I have um, another lug item. Um, I don't remember what this one's called because they have a few different of these clear ones and this is an older print as well um, I think it's called tropical multi um, I know lug nuts will correct me but it's got like a gray background with like teal um, like philodendron leaves and some like raspberry kind of like ginger or some sort of tropical flower I love tropical almost anything tropical <laughs> um, I don't know if you want me to go through every single item that I have in here. Um, I guess I could. So, but Lenny, I will do that at the end and come back to it in case you're not interested in every single item in here. Um, 
In the front pocket here, I have a pen. It's just one from work with my works brand on it. I have work keys. What else? Oh, um, oh, that's my Aldi quarter. If you know, you know. <laughs> you always got to keep a quarter for your Aldi carts. Um, I have a fan. This is an old vintage fan from like probably the 80s. Um, I love these. I have two of them. I remember my mom and grandma getting these when we went to Disneyland in California when I was a really little girl. <laughs> so I love having that. I live in Florida now. It gets hot. <laughs> it's good to have a little fan. I have a business card holder. Uh, let me see, just different cards, work and what have you. Another pen, I don't know, this is from an apartment complex. Nothing special, just, okay, that's all this in those two front pockets. And then in the back pocket, um, I have a package of wet ones. And then I won't show you, but there's some um, feminine products back there. So that's everything in this, and it's an amazing bag. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites, and I have several more of them to <laughs> use this year, along with a lot of lug bags. So I hope you're excited for that. So going back to the, I think this might be called the Seesaw, but I'm not positive. They have ones called Seesaw and others called like Clearview and and others with different names and I forget which one this is. I think it came in a pack of three and this is like the medium size. So I just kind of have like essentials um, and some like cosmetics and stuff. I probably need to thin this out. Um, here is a Sephora lip gloss. I don't know if you want to know the names of everything. I don't even know the name of it. I can't read it. <laughs> uh, Caramel is the color. Zero One Caramel. I like that. Um, this is a mascara by Tarte. It's a sample. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is Stila. Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Um, I have all this in my bag because I work out every day in the morning and a lot of times um, if I have to like go straight to work from my workout, I have a very like casual job where I don't have coworkers, um, so I can, I don't have to like get cleaned up and, um, change my clothes. I'll, I usually do, but if I don't have time to or something and I feel like my face is really naked, then that's why I have all this. Um, this is an eyeshadow stick by Julep. I like that it has, um, it's just kind of like a neutral champagne-y type color, but I like that it has, um, kind of this little spongy applicator on the end for like blending. So that's kind of cool because it's almost like a built-in brush. Um, another lip gloss, Buxom. This is one of those ones that plumps your lips up. And the color is called Pumpkin Pie Latte. Um, I think this was at the front counter of um, Ulta. And I got, I got sucked in because of pumpkin. <laughs> um, it looks really brown, but it does go on mostly clear with just a hint of color. Um, I have um, a... Makeup Brush by Subtle Beauty, S-E-B-T-L, and that's nice, a nice travel brush for foundation, blush, bronzer, I need to clean it. Then I have a couple of um, brushes by um, Eco Tools. I just got those at Ulta as well. I like that they're double-ended, so that way it cuts down on different things. Um, I have, this is what I'm using now, Pure Air Perfection. I, I'm trying to use up some of my older things. So, um, you know, this is this was the next in line to try to get used up. <laughs> I have way too much makeup. Um, I do have a couple of um, pain meds. This one's just the Tylenol. This is like for my headaches that I get sometimes the extra strength acetaminophen works great for headaches and this one I've had for a long time so it has like um, a, a lot of different things that I've refilled in here for anything from um, Tylenol, Advil, Claritin, you know a lot of different things. Um, I have a hairbrush from Bass. I have no idea where to get this. I've had it for years, years and years and years like probably 10 years. 
but I like how it folds up and goes bye-bye. <laughs> I have chapstick, and this is from, I forget, the color is called Bonfire. It has a really nice um, scent to it, kind of coconutty. I think this is Sunbum. I'm pretty sure it's Sunbum. I probably got it at Ron John Surf Shop. Um, I have a toothbrush, <laughs> um, an eyebrow setter by Benefit, 24 hour brow setter, um, sample size, and a little small toothpaste, um, essential oil. This is 13% to end human trafficking. Um, be a world changer. What brand is this? I don't know. Oh, Simply Earth, and it's called Defender. I love how this smells. It's a mixture. Mmm, kind of clovey, cinnamony. Um, I just, I like having essential oil for sometimes when I'm stressed out, not feeling good. It feels good to just put a couple drops in my hands and rub them, and then inhale or rub my neck, rub my temples, that kind of thing. And then I have this unscented Dionys or Di Dionys, Dionys, I don't know, <laughs> um, hand cream. I think it's made with goat's milk. That's why there's a goat emblem on it. I think I just got this at like Ace Hardware or something by the checkout stand, but I like the formula and I like that it's unscented. My husband is super, super sensitive to fragrances and perfumes, um, lotions, anything with a fragrance. Um, but I can get away with these essential oil sometimes. Um, I usually don't put this on around him. I'll like, I put it on if I'm at work. And then last thing, I have a few pre-cut strips of moleskin for blisters. <laughs> so that's everything in here. So yeah, I hope you liked this. And I'm thinking now that I'm unpacked that I'm going to get repacked into a new fossil bag. So, um, stay tuned for that. Hey everyone, me again. So I just finished rewatching the video and there's a few things that I saw that I could do a lot better next time. So please um, hang in there with me as I evolve and get better on filming and all that. Um, I noticed that my arm was in the way for a lot of the video. My hand was in the way blocking some things. I also noticed um, my placement of a lot of things was a little high and maybe cut off. So I will try to make sure that things are centered and in frame. And then last thing I noticed was the quality of the sound is not that great. I'm filming with my iPhone. So I thought it would be halfway decent, but it seemed like it was kind of muffled. So um, I don't know if I, I think maybe at some point, depending on how all this goes, I might invest in like a microphone, like a, a beginner's starter microphone or something just to make the sound quality a little bit better. But anyway, for now, this is what it is. So um, just wanted to let you know. And if you do have any other feedback for me, um, feel free to put it in the comments. All right. Thanks. Bye.